Scott and I, where we go and negotiate with terrorists. How may I help you? Dream chasing boxing here. Y'all already know what it is. We don't have time to do all this shit, but nah, so let's get straight into it. Angel Garcia goes on this weird racial fucking rant um, at Keith Thurman. At first, uh, the first part I heard, I told you, you laughed at it too. I, I, I found it kind of funny. He said he's not going to lose to two white boys and a hippie. Because <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Keith, Keith Thurman does look like a hippie. So I, that, that's just keeping it real. <laughs> and the whole two white boys part, I found that I, I didn't really get it because, you know, Angel's white. But whatever. I was like, okay, you know, that's that's interesting. And then... He goes on and says, um, we're going to beat that bitch ass nigga. We're going to beat your bitch ass nigga. And he says, nigga, like, I don't know, 14, 15 times. And, and it says some weird shit about Donald Trump. I'm not going to lie. I stopped listening because it was like some crackhead tirade type of shit. And I was just kind of like, what, what the fuck is this? And um, I see a lot of people making videos about it. They feel as if it's racial. They feel as if Angel's racist. Knox, what are your thoughts on Angel Garcia and his comments in regards to Keith Thurman? Oh, mind you, this is also the same dude that, um, that uh, he called Terrence Crawford nappy-headed for some strange reason. But yeah, go ahead, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, like a few years ago, I, I, don't, I don't know if it was Fight Hype I was watching, or maybe it was um, every setback news. But like this, like this was like, um, a few years ago when Andrew Garcia said, when um, him and Danny Garcia, well, Danny Garcia, he was supposed to be fighting American. And like during the, during the interview or whatever, Andrew Garcia said something, something along the lines of, "There's no way my son can lose to Aladdin." Remember that? That's, that's kind of funny. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, go ahead. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So like, go ahead. I, go ahead. Hey, 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 stop, stop that. Stop that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, so that's like, fucked I, up. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, like um, but. I kind of had my suspicion that he, that he was racist when he said that. But it wasn't about black people, so I brushed it under the rug. Yes, you heard that correctly. It wasn't about black people, so I didn't care. Moving on. Wait, um, can we keep it real about that for a sec? I, we'll, we'll get into it later. We'll, we'll explain that later. Yeah, but go ahead. Go ahead. Continue. My bad. Yeah, so and then, like, what, last month or two months ago, like, what do you call it? Terrence Crawford Nancy had it? Yeah. That, like, yeah, like, like that's, that's solidified that to me that Andrew Garcia is racially biased or prejudiced or whatever. Mm. So, so what he said today really, really doesn't surprise me. Mm-hmm. So, okay. Yeah. Uh, um, I don't know if he's racist. I, I'm not gonna lie. Again, I, I'm one of those dudes, I guess, who's more, I want to say skeptical, but I don't know if Andrew Garcia has racism in his heart. I have no idea. I, I, I don't know. But what I do know, this goes back to what we said about, was it Nate Diaz? Why I don't like Hispanics, specifically white Hispanics, using the word nigga. Because, see, the, the, the thing is, it's hard to tell what his intentions are. Now, I'm going to give both sides of the arg- argument. He's just going on a rant, and he's not really even thinking about the shit that he's saying. He's just trying to be... I don't, fi- I don't, I don't think he ever thinks about what he's saying. Yeah, I know. That's why, like... So, there's an element that where I've seen this... Um, and Conor McGregor does it worse, but I'm, I'm talking about this type of thing where these dudes go on rants, and I'm not... Honestly, I'm positive that they're, they're not really sure what the fuck they're saying. They're just trying to be offensive. Now, that, yeah. that, that, that that's one side. That doesn't, that doesn't make it okay. That's, that's, not, that's not saying I'm co-signing the shit that they're saying. I'm just saying that there's that side to where I don't know if it's for sure 100% racially motivated, but what I do know is that as a black man, I'm going to have to err on the side of caution. And by erring on the side of caution is that I just don't think that shit's okay, and I'm going to have to suspect you. I, I can't, like, there's no alternative for me. I can't sit down and assume that you mean positive shit by it, because, see, this is what guys like these do. And, see, don't cut the bullshit, because we're about to get personal here. We're about to get off boxing. I personally know a lot of Hispanics. I know them personally. I live down here in Miami, Florida. I've met a lot. A lot of them have told me, straight to my face, a lot of their family members are racist. A lot of family members that are racist, and they they told me, like, and the funny thing is, too, because I go to these parties and stuff, they'll sit down and tell me, like, yo, like, I ain't gonna lie, man. Like, my mom and dad and, like, my brother, like, nah, they don't even fuck with black people like that. And then I will go to their house, right, to a little party or something, and guess what that older brother will come and do? Hey, what's up, my nigga? See, that's why me personally... I just don't trust it at all. Now, mind you, if most of the people in your family is racist, I'm going to kind of suspect you a little bit, but I'm digressing. Mm-hmm. Point is, though, with Angel Garcia, 
I don't know what he's saying in the confines of his own home. I don't know if he's actually sit down and does view black black people in a fair manner because you're out here calling Terrence Crawford um, nappy-headed. I don't know what you mean by that. Maybe you're just trying to be funny. Maybe it's deeper. I don't know. Fucking Danny Garcia, he was the same dude that was out here talking like he's cool with Trump because Trump is going to save him money. The fight that, um, despite the fact that he's out here disparaging black people, that shit didn't phase him because he's worried about his money, which is cool. But see, but my antennas go up when you're out here talking about niggas and shit. Cause see, mm-hmm. Danny Garcia, he like these guys have their side. He, he has the people who he's cool with. You know what I'm saying? He has a whole Latin Goonies thing where, you know, he's with, down with that Latin crowd, the white Hispanic crowd, and that's cool. Do your thing. But see, my problem is these guys like to come back and just kind of like blend in and make it seem as if like it's all like, like they they like to play both sides. And I've seen it too often. And with Angel Garcia's comments, I'm gonna have to air with the side of caution, and I'm gonna have to sit down and say, yeah, this dude could be racist, flat out, man. He he could be racist. And I'm going to sit down and lean more towards that side because I don't know what he's saying in the confines of his own home. And he's saying too many suspicious shit. Because all I know is for sure, if he was sitting down and was really down with black people like that, he wouldn't be saying half of this shit. No way. He would know better. Yeah, and this goes back to what I said in my last video. Or um, my last individual video. When I, when I, when I clearly said, just because you're quote-unquote minorities or minorities doesn't mean we share the same values doesn't mean we're fighting the same fight mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying like like what you said they're they're playing both sides or they're they're fit sitting mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying like they'll play the minority card they go hey my friend look i'm a minority just like you yeah and then when you walk away from them and go tough man those niggas over there i don't like those guys yeah tough, 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 tough. Yeah, and, and, and see, that's the fear, that's the issue that plays on, is that I don't know where Angel Garcia sits. All I do know for sure is that he's a white Hispanic who's very comfortable around black people, who's probably a drug addict, and based on what I know about Hispanics, and yo, if you're a Hispanic, leave in the comment section. This, is, this isn't a real secret, it's a well-known secret, or, or it's a well-known thing within the community that, yo, a lot of Hispanics are racist and they identify with white people. So we all know this. If you're Hispanic, you can leave it down in the comment section. I'm not making this shit up for those who are surprised by this. Yeah, this is no big like secret. And Andrew Garcia, with the shit that he's saying, I can't co-sign it, and I'm not riding with it. And again, I'm gonna have to air with the side that this guy is racist. I'm gonna have to go with it because look, for those who are saying, look, man, he was raised around black people, yada yada yada. He yeah, sold yeah, drugs back in the day. Look, man, here's the thing. You know all that, right? You was raised around black people. Here's the thing about that situation is that you still have to understand. The same way me and you, when we was in the army, for example, right? Let's kind of like break it down for people. We was around a bunch of white people who were from the country and all that good shit. Well, I ain't, we didn't go up to them and say, hey, what's going on, redneck and all that shit. Or start spotting off that shit around other fucking white people. Because you know, like, okay, let's say that white dude in particular doesn't mind that shit. You don't know if other these other motherfuckers are going to have an issue with it. I said that to say, okay, you might know some black people who are cool with you saying, nigga. But you, you, if you're in that environment, you have to know, hey, some motherfuckers aren't cool with that shit. So you wouldn't go on fucking public TV and attack a black man like that. If you're cool with black people, you should know that, hey, man, that, that's just a bad look. Even though me, I know personally, I don't mean nothing by it. But that's a bad look off for it because a lot of black people, like we're seeing now, ain't going to co-sign that shit. But see, that's kind of what lets me know he's not around black people that much. My, see, there's a, there's a difference between growing up and being around black people and being cool with them and really fucking with them, man. There's a difference because that's one thing if you go, you like almost like you're going to work. You go to work, you smile with your coworkers and do all that shit. Then you go home and talk shit about them. You know what I'm saying? Like, this situation, he's probably cool when he's at the gym and he's doing the boxing shit. He's all good with the black people. And then he goes back home to his real friends, to his real Hispanic. Who knows what the fuck he's saying? So, from what I'm seeing, there's a disconnect going on with Angel Garcia, and I don't trust that shit, man. I'm not co-signing that shit at all. That shit is suspicious to me, and it ain't going to surprise me if he comes out saying some shit that's more inflammatory and that's worse fucking sooner or later, man. I, I see that shit coming, man, because he Wait. keeps getting closer and closer to it. Go ahead, though. Uh, oh, 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 shit. Well, I'm glad you said that. Yeah, like, like he, keeps, he keeps getting closer and closer. It's, it's like when time goes on, the more you get to know a person they slowly but surely start to reveal themselves. Mm-hmm. Even even if it's unintentional. Yeah. So, mind you, 
Yes, Keith Thurman is a hippie. And anybody who knows me knows I hate the shit out of hippies. But um, you know what? I'm going to have to put my Thurman in this fight. Just just on general principle. Yeah, yeah. Uh, again, yo, I- I'm not one of those people. I'm sorry. I know a lot of white Hispanics. You want to say the N-word. Not around me. I-, I just don't trust it because you still have white skin at the end of the day and you can flip-flop any moment you want. They, I, I don't trust that. Now, if you're a black Hispanic, you know what I'm saying? If you're the same skin, skin color as me, shit, man, I, I'm with you. Because you can't flip-flop, you know? <laughs> you, you just like me. You don't have an option. So I'm cool with that. But for you white dudes, man, nah, I've seen too many occasions. I've, seen, I've been around Hispanics too much. These dudes will be like, oh, what's up, my nigga, all this shit. Then they be like, man, Trump? Man, dude, you got to understand what Trump is going to do for the people. I'm like, see, oh, okay, there, see, see, this is the type of... It, wait, it, wait. And, and the funny thing with black Hispanics too, but like it's so funny because, like, all right, mind you, uh, I I have a homeboy. He's a black Hispanic. Um, with like um, like down down in Harlem, mm-hmm. and he's like like he he was telling me this one story about how he walked like well yeah like like about how he how he walked into the store, into a Puerto Rican store. Now mind you, like it, it was a white Hispanic, and he said to like. I guess the the white Puerto Rican didn't know that my homeboy could speak Spanish or mm-hmm. or that he was Dominican or whatever. So so not knowing that he said something he said something in Spanish, not to him but not to him it was about him. Like he said something about oh like this black boy but not something out of my store. Oh, yeah. And my homeboy had looked at him yeah and my homeboy looked at him and like replied to him back in Spanish. And so the person was like oh you speak Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So my homeboy yeah. was like, "Yeah, motherfucker. Yeah, I speak Spanish, bitch." Yeah, it's that old dumb shit, man. And again, <laughs> yeah. I mean, we could elaborate um on, like, onto this more, but okay, we'll, we'll give a last example for those who we're not making it clear. It, it's just a thing. Like me and you, we've just been around. We know how this shit goes. Are there some white Hispanics who are down, who are truly, you know, what I'm saying like they really connect with black people and they don't go home and talk shit? Of course. But see, that's the thing. You're a liability. Angel Garcia is a liability, and as a black person, we have to err on the side of caution. We have to. Now, I, me personally, I'm not going to say for sure that he is racist, like without a doubt, but he is doing a lot of racist shit, you know, and if he, if he really cares about black people, if he's down with black people like that, for the amount of people that are saying, hey, we ain't fucking with that shit, we don't like you doing that, if he fucking is it, he'll stop. If he feels if he's above and he's better than black people, he can do whatever the fuck he want, and he can say whatever he want, then you're going to see him continue to do so, because he's going to hear about this. That's why me right now, I'm going to err on the side of caution and say that he's not going to give a fuck about all the black people he offends, and he's going to keep doing it. That, that, that's my opinion. That's what I think is going to happen. He's not going to give a fuck about what black people think about this shit. He's going to keep doing it. Now, if he fucking does, does and say, hey, man, all right, maybe I took that shit too far and retracts that shit, then I'll be like, all right, he, he's just a fucking crackhead. But until then, nah, man. Wait, Go he's ahead. just a what? A cokehead? What you said? Oh, crackhead. Ah, man, he's more like crackhead to me, man. I'm sorry. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm no, sorry. No, 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 no. Crackheads are really, really dysfunctional. Trust me. You'll know a crackhead when you see one. Yeah, he's, he's pretty goddamn like, close, though. I'm sorry. Th- th- yeah, like, like, he's, like he's, he's close, but he's not a crackhead. He's not a crackhead. Yeah. He's, 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 he's a cokehead. Yeah. Coke, Jeff. Coke. Yeah. Whatever, man. Like, po- you, just, like, like, you can't tell by like, like how hyped up he always, like, how hyped up he always is. The man's on coke, huh? Yeah. But, um, yeah, like I said, to get into the last point, we all know, right, me, me, we're both black, when I sit down and see what Mexicans are going through, to give an example as to why I don't freaking trust white Hispanics to sit down and say the N-word, this, I sympathize and I have empathy with Mexicans when they sit down and they try to do the whole deportation shit, I think it's fucked up, I think it's wrong, but I, I, at the same time, I, I kind of really don't give a fuck. Because I'm not Mexican, and I'm being real, like, that, that whole immigration thing, like, like it, it really doesn't affect me. Like, it really has nothing to do with me. Now, mind you, if I could come up, um, like, if I could vote, like, go vote and sit down and fight that shit, and it's going to actually make a difference, absolutely. I'll do it, you know, I'll vote on shit that, you know, pertains to me, but, like, yeah, if I could do that, of course, I'll help out. But, as far as, like, me, I'm going... But, but at, the same, go at the same time, at the same time, look... Like, the whole helping out thing, man, okay, that's cool. But at the same time, y'all got to help us out, too, man. Like, like it's, it's black people. Like, we just can't go around blending the helping hand. And then, like, when we ask for help, like, everybody comes back. Like, like no. everybody puts the head in the sand like a fucking ostrich. <laughs> and that's what I'm talking about for me. 
in all groups do this. You care more about your group than anything else. You specifically care about your group. And that's what it is. And I've seen what Mexicans go through. I know how Hispanics in general are racist towards Mexicans. I was there because I, I was Haitian too. There are two p uh, groups of people that nobody could call you. Back in the day, it's kind of different now, but I remember this shit like nine days. That, that was ten years ago. Ain't, ain't they shit. Like um, back in the days down here in Miami, there's two things you can call people. If you call a black person Haitian, they would get mad. Now being Haitian is cool. If you call a Hispanic person Mexican, they'll lose their shit because we're the we're, we're the lowest of the low. And I get that, oh. and I have empathy towards them, and I get the issue that they go through, and they that they still go through today. But at the end of the day, it's like, you know, like. I don't, I don't sit down and, like, have the same passion as the Mexicans. I don't relate to y'all like that. You know, I don't go to sleep. Oh, God. Immigration. Like, I don't give a fuck. Now, I say that to say this. I don't know what type of slang or terminology that Mexican has. I do have Mexican friends. I can't sit down and act like I'm one of y'all. You get what I mean? I can't sit down and act like I'm fully down with y'all because I'm not. Now, I don't go home and talk shit about y'all, but just off the principle that your problems aren't really mine. Black people's yeah, problems exactly. are not Angel Garcia's problems. That's why his son is cool with voting for Donald Trump. Like, our problems are not the same. Our fight isn't the same. So to sit down and use terminology as, as if you're one of us, no, you're not. Like, you get what I mean? Like, at the end of the day, like, see, here's the thing with white Hispanics. Just to sit down. As much as you want to pretend that you're one of us, you're not. Unless you're fully invested within the culture, as in, I'm talking about fucking, like, you way, way in... Like, you don't fucking go out and you, you, like, you're in a completely different area. I'm talking about if you're way, way, like, to the shit point where you don't even fucking speak Spanish type of shit. Then it's like, I still don't trust you, but whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how I feel about that. And honestly, if you're a white Hispanic, if you have certain black people that are cool with you saying it, whatever. Yeah, shame on them. Yeah, well, like, whatever. But keep it around them. Don't go around other black people. Don't go around to a mainstream area and just assume that every black people going to be okay with it because I'll check you. I don't care who you are. I'm going to check you. And if you come on here saying that, oh, if you're Hispanic, you can use the N-word. See, that's, that's part of white supremacy. Despite that so many black people are telling you, hey, we're not cool with you doing, using that shit. And you to come up on here talking about something, well, I'm going to use it anyway. See, that lets you know what side you're on right there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> like, you're you're self-snitching. Like, you, you, don't, you, like, you don't respect us. You yeah. don't respect us. Because uh, I remember with the whole Nate Diaz thing, a lot of um, his friends coming on time, I was like, yeah, man, like, I'm going to say it if I want. And I'm like, Exa of course you will. <laughs> you know, like, like, you're proving our point. Even despite the fact that a bunch of black people are saying, hey, that's just not okay, you're like, fuck that. And I'm like, exactly. You don't give two shits about black people. Like, like that's my point. But yet you're trying to sit down and steal an appropriate from the culture. Like, we get what it is. And that's my whole stance on Angel Garcia. Look, if he comes out and apologizes and take all that shit back, Cool, he's not racist, he's just some cokehead. But if he keeps doing this shit, he doesn't give a fuck about how black people feel, and he's just gonna do whatever the fuck he wants to do. And that's gonna prove that he's racist. That, and it is what it is. I ain't gonna sit down and lose sleep over it. I'm gonna go to the fight and root against that nigga. I hope Danny Garcia gets knocked smooth the fuck out, but, you know. <laughs> Wait, when is the fight? Because, like, whoa, I'm, I'm going to that fight. Yeah, it, 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 it's 4th? March 4th. It's March 4th. Man, I, I was just trying to come up there by myself and my girl wanna come and shit, man. Oh, I know, man. I was trying to slide out that shit. Yeah. Is it confirmed? Because, like, I plan on whoring myself out in the city. Like, a whole bunch of random women would get up there. So I can't do that if you're here with your girl. Like, dude, like, she already, like, gave me money for her ticket and shit. Like, she's, like, already looking. For... <laughs> yeah, like, she, she's coming. Like, I kind of low-key want to go over there and be a whore, too, but it's not happening, man. It's it's not fucking happening. My girl, she's, like, she's, she's coming and, like, that's that type of shit. That's the same with women. It's like, yo, we want to like cats. Like, they invade your personal space and make themselves comfortable. Yeah. Because, like, she, she she did this shit where she was like, oh, I was like, okay, yeah, I'm going to go to, like, you know, New York to the fight. She was like, okay, cool. And I was like, all right, bet. And then, like, she's, like, all upset and shit. And I'm like, do you want to come? Well, yeah, if you if you ask. I'm like, man, I already know what the fuck. Man, you fucking all right, dog. All right. You should have been, been, like, I asked. Hoping that you will say no. <laughs> no, I even told him, like, yo, it's cool. If you don't want to go, it's cool. Like, you know, I'll go over there. I'll chill with my boys. You know what I'm saying? I know a fight critic up there, H Money, Nas is up there. Like, you know, we'll be fine. She's like, nah, you know, since you asked, I'll go. I'm like, ah, you know I don't want you to fucking go. You know I don't want you to fucking go. But my, my bad, John. We're digressing. So that's pretty much it in regards to fucking Angel Garcia. Look, at the end of the day, this is something you cannot refute. If so many black people, as you've seen on YouTube and elsewhere, are telling you they're not comfortable with that shit, 
and you're a Hispanic person, you're a white Hispanic, and you're saying, hey, I'm going to use that shit anyway because certain black people are cool with me using it, despite that there's a bunch of people that sit down saying, hey, don't use that shit around me. You, you're you thinking just like white supremacists, and you go back to our original point as to why y'all can't use that shit around us. You can't just sit down and dominate and sit down and come to another culture and be like, I'm going to use and do whatever the fuck I want, even if it affects you. That's like me being like, you know what, you're Puerto Rican. No, I'm going to say you're Mexican because I know some Puerto Rican friends that are cool with me calling them Mexicans. Yeah. <laughs> like, 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 well, like, but what, what, like, what, what's the problem? Like, they're cool with it. You're not going to be cool with it, too? Like, see, you see how fucking silly that sounds? Yeah, okay. So, act right. And that's it, man. You, you can finish it off, bro. Hmm. I'm trying to think of something really offensive to say to, to the um, audience, listen, who just want to sit here and listen to our shit. They make a video about it, but I can't think of anything offensive right now. Hmm. Wait, people are still making nope. video responses to us? Why? We don't respond to anyone. So. Dude, I would have, assume so. We haven't responded to like anyone in like well, over a year now. It's definitely been like a, at least like eight that months. Long? It's been a while since we responded to someone. Dude, I haven't but, like watched like other people. But, like, go ahead. Here's the thing though, like I know somebody that. We don't fuck with is watching this shit right now. Oh, I know they yeah. are. I know they're watching yeah. it right now. Yeah, the fucking stalker dude. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> How long has this video been? It's been what twenty one minutes. Yeah, I'm pretty sure people are gonna leave a bunch of stuff in the comment section that we address in the video, and they're gonna leave it in the comments. I know because like yeah, they they probably didn't watch the whole video. They probably watched like three minutes of it, and like now they're gonna leave a long, elaborate comment, which we're probably not gonna fucking read. Yeah, and it was funny, too. They're probably going to say some shit like, yeah, but you won't even bring this up, yet we brought up in the later half of the video. Remember the last video, and they're like, oh, but you, know, you guys didn't even bring up no solutions, and we did in the video. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah, like right past the 10-minute mark, we brought up solutions, but I forgot your attention span is really too short. Like, but for those, if you're going to leave a long comment and talk about all the shit we didn't mention and how we're afraid to talk about this, like, at least have the decency to watch the entire video to make sure you're not making yourself like look like an ass. You know, yeah. like... But then, but then, like, here's the thing, like, wait, I know we're aggressive, but anyway. But the thing is, like, then they'll say, well, you have a short attention span because you didn't read my long comment. Because chances are, like, you wrote something in there really fucking dumb that, that we posted about the fucking video. Yeah. That's, like, not, nine out of ten times that's what happened. Like, people bring up, like, shit that we mentioned in the video, or they bring up the most, the dumbest argument. Let me think about something that somebody's going to say. Well... Like, it's messed up because if you guys could call each other that, then, like, it's going to be all, all that shit. <sighs> look, look, man. Some of y'all be leaving, like, the weakest fucking arguments. And then you guys leave it in, like, a... This is why we don't read the essays. Because sometimes somebody leaves, like, an essay. I'm like, all right, let me sit down. Let me read the whole thing. And it's just a whole bunch of fucking nothing and weak-ass arguments that make no fucking sense. And then, like, whatever, man. I, I like, like, dude... I've never really read essays that have been worth it. Like, a few times do I read, like, those long paragraphs and it ends up being worth it. Nine out of ten times, it's full of fucking garbage, contradictions, and shit that make no fucking sense. Like, you know, trust Trump, give Trump a chance because... Son you know, of a fucking dick. Yeah, because, you know... You know and like, oh, oh, yeah, here's nothing that a lot of people that leave long... You guys just regurgitate information that, like, yo, you know most popular things, whenever I contradict Hatman... People come to, on my channel and regurgitate everything that he fucking said. And I'm like, oh my god, like I, I know like I know you you didn't come up with any of this. This is Hatman's video word for word. Like I know that shit about a lot of motherfuckers, oh they'll regurgitate shit that Stephen A. Smith says. Like I'm like, yo, you're you're not creative. You're you're like I saw their video. I saw what he said you're you're basically taking what they said and putting it in a paragraph form and trying to make it seem as if it's your own idea. That's why a lot of them you know, I, I peep that. Go ahead. Wait, what did Stephen A. Smith do? Like, sit down, like, like, for example, let's say we make a video about something about Donald Trump, right? People will come and leave word for word the shit that he said and try, try to make it seem as if it's their own idea. People do this shit all the time. Like, here's what's going to happen for this video. I don't have to see people, like, counteract what Angel Garcia said too much or defend it. See, this is what's going to happen, right? We're going to make our videos saying that we think he's racist or he's, you know, potentially racist, whatever the case may be. And then no one's going to say anything because no one has came up out with a video defending Angel Garcia. When somebody does, they're going to come back and write the same exact shit that they fucking said in their video and try to make it seem as if they thought of it. People do this shit all the fucking time because they can't think for themselves. So they just regurgitate information. Oh. This happens all the time. Oh, you, you, don't read, you don't read the fucking comments, Knox. 
<laughs> Dude, you you know I don't read people's stupid comments, man. Like, you know, like bro, it's, it's like I had stupid comments at this. Like within the first three words, if I see something stupid, I keep scrolling. <laughs> yeah, man. I I read most of the comments as long as you're not leaving. Like, look, man, don't leave me a college fucking essay. Don't leave me a fucking book report. Don't leave me a bibliography. Don't leave me none of that shit. Autobiography, none of that. <laughs> bibliography. <laughs> Don't leave me none of that shit, man. Like, I'm I'm straight, man. I get it. You know, you can get to the point in whatever the case may be. But if you are going to leave a long one, please don't, don't just regurgitate that information. I have YouTube, too. I could check out these other guys who have differing opinions, except for the racist ones. I don't care about their opinions. But, anywho, we're the, we the, damn, we digress like a motherfucker, man. All right, we're out yeah, here, man. But, yeah, but, but here's Go the ahead. thing. Our digression is funny, and it's entertaining. Yeah, that is true. Yeah. But we'll leave it at that. We got to come back and do one more video in regards to that whole 78 shit, but we'll do that. And we're out for right now, man. We're out. Peace, everybody.